today is the 5th of November um, and many of you will be aware that it's been on the cards for quite a while that the CIA are going to start registering or well, requiring us to register our drones before we fly them. Um, so today is the day uh, where we're meant to start registering our drones. Um, they've given us up to the 30th of November um, and that's when we're supposed to all have them um, registered if you're going to fly them. Um, other than that, um, if you get caught flying with one, um, I believe it's a fine up to about a thousand pound, an on the spot fine, um, if you get caught flying one without being registered. Um, so I'm just going to go through the process. I briefly opened the website, haven't actually looked through it that thoroughly. Um, so I'm going to go through it, um, just see how long it takes and what it requires, um, and show you along the way. Uh, it's nine pound to register it. Um, then they give us a sticker or a number to put on our drone um, to obviously get a lot for our money um, but I'll take this through the process um, see what sort of questions they give us and how long it takes um, so it's registeredrones.ca.co.uk I'll put a link at the bottom um, to that website um, and we'll just start going through it clear what you meant to do but um, click on a few links and hopefully we'll get to uh, the right page. You need to register to get an I flight ID and an operator ID. So let's press on that and scroll through the pages. It says it's going to take 20 minutes and there are 20 multiple choice questions and we need a pass mark of 16. Take the test as many times as you like. So here we go. Start now. It's going to cost £9 like it says. And your email address. Check your emails for a code. There's the code, they email you a code straight away. Enter the code. And off we go. Question one. Will you also be responsible for a drone or model aircraft? Yes. So there we go, we put the email address in, it's given us a code and it's asked us whether we want to be an operator, which we have. So it says now again, 20 minutes to do the test, 20 questions, pass mark of 16. So question one, why should you keep your drones built in software, firmware up to date? So that the drone manufacturer can identify you, so that air traffic control can see your drone on their radar, so that your drone performs in the way the manufacturer intends. Let's go for the third one. <laughs> Frank decides that she wants to start using her drone to film weddings for payment. Which of these must she do? Get permission for commercial filming from the local council. Get permission for commercial operations from the CAA. Get written permission from everyone at the wedding she films. Which of the following <coughs> is one of the points you should check to make sure you can legally fly at a location? Whether there are any local bylaws that mean you are not allowed to fly there, that there are no trees surrounding the area, that there are absolutely no other drone model flyers around. Number one. Andrew realises she accidentally recorded some some video through a neighbour's window when she was filming with her drone. What can Andrea do with the video? Press one. Share the video online after deleting the part with her neighbour in it. You are out flying in the countryside. There are lots of people around, but you are flying at a safe height. Suddenly you notice an air ambulance flying in the direction of your drone or model aircraft. What should you do? Quickly fly your drone or model aircraft out of the way of the air ambulance and either wait or land safely. When must you have insurance for flying your drone or model aircraft to fly for payment or commercial work? Which of the following must you check so that you can fly safely? You have enough fuel or battery power to last the planned flight. Three friends are talking about how they watch their drones when out flying. Which one is flying safely? Oh, I see. Which one's flying safely out of these? 
Christina says she doesn't use a camera, simply watches her drone because she gets the best view of everything in the sky. When do you need permission from an airport to fly a drone or model aircraft? Well, when you wish to fly in a flight restricted zone. Amin wants to fly her drone over the flower show being held in the county field, in the country field to get some good images above. <clears throat> About 150 people are at the show. Which of the following is correct? Well, just looking at the drone code on this. Um, never fly closer than 150 metres to a crowd of 1,000 people or more. Never fly directly over a crowd. So there's only 150 people at the show, so you can fly within 50 metres of the people from the show. How could you check if there's any restrictions on whether you can fly at a particular place? Look at the drone app. Question 12. Choose the correct distance to complete the statement. Never fly higher than 400 feet above the surface. Which of these is the main reason for not flying above 400 feet? Because most other aircraft normally fly above 400 feet. Which of the following statements about people who see you using a camera on a drone or model aircraft is true? They can demand to see what you've recorded. No, they may be worried about their privacy being invaded. They can demand payment if you film them. Matt, Tim and Roy are being at an organised music event of over 2,000 people, three friends go off and fly their drones. Which of them takes off and flies safely? So you're not allowed to fly directly above the crowd, so Matt can't fly above the crown. crowd. Tim walks on the footpath in the neighbouring field so that it's at least 150 metres before starting to fly. He avoids flying over the festival and flies. 40 metres over a nearby cottage, so he's not allowed to do that, he's not. So it's the first one, Roy, flies 150 metres away from the crowds. Nick is out flying a drone and he start, when it starts to snow. He's not getting too cold to use his controller. Max flies his drone behind a group of tall trees. His drone is out of sight until it comes out the other side. Is this safe? No. Three friends are talking about their drones and model aircraft to fly in an empty field near to an airport. The field is outside the fence that marks the airport boundary, which of his friends is correct. Ben says we must check with the airfield that the airfield's outside these airports restricted zone. Question 19. <clears throat> We're out flying a drone in an area you know well. You start to get worried that you might lose sight of your drone in the glare of the low winter sun. What should you do? Steadily fly your bone draft towards you until you are sure you can see it. Reassess before deciding whether to carry on. Question 20. Three friends have hiked up a hill that's 50 metres high. You are standing on the top of the hill and decide how high can they fly their drones. 120 metres. Complete test. Oh, 20 out of 20. Now continue to get your flight ID and upper ID. So it's asked for my name, family name, continue. What's your date of birth, address, continue to payment. Nine pounds they want. I suppose we should pay. There we go, payment is successful. Application complete, there we go, flyer ID number. It's been given there, it's valid for three years, it expires on the 5th of November 2022 and you get a, an operator ID number, which is valid for one year. They get emailed to you, so you don't need to remember them straight away. And then, I guess we need to just write that number somewhere on the drain. I guess stick it on the front there. Um, probably put a stick on it. If you ever want to sell it, I guess if you painted it on or like that, you'd have to scratch it off. Uh, if you don't want other people with your number, I guess. So there. Pretty straightforward. And that took uh, 
20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, so fairly simple, very simple questions. Uh, I would say pretty much anyone could pass those after just reading the drain code once or twice. Um, so very simple, um, agree with it or not, um, it's the law now, you have to register your drain. Um, so if you want to fly your drain again from now onwards, um, you have to have this number displayed on it. So comment down below uh, whether you agree with it or not, um, it must be done. Thanks for watching.